comfort me You'll be my sanctuary Who made a perfect way If we hold on And walk upon your words Your will be done As you promised Until the end of time Cross you dead for me. I'll say hallelujah to glorify your name forever. Faithful and awesome God, be exalted all the earth. Cross you died for me Live 
As the world today is experiencing the global health crisis caused by the pandemic COVID-19, it's time for the world to be united. It's time for the world to return to God. It's time for the world to pray as one. Let's join our hands together in one world, one prayer, one healing, live here at the Pentecostal Missionary Church of Christ, Fort Watts, official page. said social distancing meant we had to stop doing more? Well, the Pentecostal Missionary Church of Christ Fourth Watch is here to provide you all of its church services online. No passwords, no subscriptions, no redirecting links. It's completely hassle-free from Monday to Saturday, every Tuesday to Friday nights, and on Sunday from morning up to its evening service, you will surely be blessed. Just visit the official PMCC Fourth Watch main Facebook page and click on its live broadcast. Also viewable on live TV through the following. You need more? We give more. Be with us on all our streaming schedules. been assessing this outbreak around the clock and we're deeply concerned both by the alarming levels of spread and severity and by the alarming levels of inaction. We have therefore made the assessment that COVID-19 can be characterized as a pandemic. As the world continues to face the dangers, brought by the pandemic coronavirus. Our task as Christians is to intercede the situation of the world through prayers. The Church must always be guided by the Holy Spirit. Only then, the Church will be able to stay united and intact in all sense, having one purpose and one intention. This was highlighted in the discussion of Bishop Arturo Ferriol on the previous episode. We are one in the Spirit. We are one in our purpose and intention. And because we as a church is one, we have in our hands the unlimited power of God. Welcome to the new episode of One World, One Prayer, One Healing, brought to you by the Pentecostal Missionary Church of Christ, Fourth Watch. With our speaker, Bishop Jonathan Ferriol. Hello, this is Bishop Jonathan Freyol, and I'd like to welcome you to this One World, One Prayer, One Healing. It's always been my joy to be able to minister to you the words of the Lord and to also pray with you. And today we're going to look at the role of music, specifically spiritual music, in order for us to go through the times of crisis that we are in. I really believe that music is one of God's gifts to man. Ito'y isang napakagandang regalo, kaloob ng Diyos, sa tao at lalong-lalo na sa bayan ng Diyos. It is interesting to note that the biggest book in the Bible 
is actually about music. And you are correct. That's the book of Psalms, Ang Mga Awit. And it sits right at the center of the Bible. That shows the prominence of music in our Christian faith. We need to understand that music is a gift of God and that gift has been given to us for a purpose. For instance, in heaven, music is everywhere. I cannot imagine heaven without music. Someone has joked that in heaven, pastors will be unemployed because there will be no more need for preaching. But our praise and worship singers will continue to enjoy employment. Sa langit daw, ang mga pastor ay wala ng trabaho. Subalit ang mga praise and worship singers ay patuloy na aawit. One of the things, if not one of the most wonderful things that we can find in heaven is music. In the book of Revelation in chapter 15 verses 2 and 4 we read, And I saw what looked like a sea of glass glowing with fire and standing beside the sea, those who had been victorious over the beast and its image and over the number of its name, they held harps given them by God and sang the song of God's servant Moses and of the Lamb. Great and marvelous are your deeds, Lord God Almighty. Just and true are your ways, King of the nations, who will not fear you, Lord, and bring glory to your name. For you alone are holy. All nations will come and worship before you. For your righteous acts have been revealed. We just read the lyrics of the song that God's people will sing in heaven. Here on earth, we see in the scriptures that the Word of God is exhorting us to sing. Isa ito sa mga ipinagtatagubilin uh, sa atin ng salita ng Diyos na tayo ay magsiawit. And I believe in a personal uh, point of view that one of the best gifts that a church could offer to its congregants and to its people is a great, awesome music ministry. And the true church of the Lord Jesus Christ should be a singing church. And that is what we are. There is an abundance of godly music in the PMCC Fort Watch. And I would like to recognize and to commend our music servants who have been ministering to us with their God-given music, their powerful vocals, and their uh, uh, talents in playing all kinds of instruments, the Lord bless them. But it's not only in heaven that music is played. In God's church, we are called to be also a singing church. In the book of Ephesians, in chapter 5, verse 19, it says there, addressing one another in psalms and hymns and spiritual songs, singing and making melody to the Lord with your heart. Napakaliwanag ang tagubilin sa atin ng banal na kasulatan na tayo po ay pinagtatagubilinan, na tayo ay magpalakasan sa isa't isa sa pamamagitan ng ating mga awit, sa pamamagitan ng ating musika. Kaya ang awit ay napakahalagang bahagi ng ating pagsamba. And this is what we need to realize that all forms of music is from the Lord. We should not have any disagreement, any conflict as to the genre of, of music that we should play or we should listen to because all forms of music is from the Lord. I, for one, I love hymns. I am first and foremostly a hymn guy. But on the other hand, I take pleasure singing and listening to contemporary praise and worship songs. And praise be to God, 
He has given us all this genre of music that we can be able to listen to and sing and play for the glory of God. We are being obedient to the scriptures. Nang sabi ng kasulatan, tayo ay magpalakasan. That we must address one another. We must exhort one another with songs, with spiritual hymns and godly songs. Historically speaking, even our Lord Jesus Christ, this is uh, a rare glimpse into how Jesus Christ somehow cope with the distress of Him eventually carrying the cross in order to pay for the sins of men. In the book of Matthew 26 verse 30, there's a little verse that says, And when they had sung a hymn, they went out to the Mount of Olives. When they sang a hymn, Jesus Christ took comfort in singing a hymn, in singing a song unto the Lord. Kumbaga, ang ating Panginoon at tagapagligtas, bago siya dumako doon sa lugar na kung saan siya ipagkakanulo, kung saan siya uh, dadakpin at huhulihin, ay umawit muna siya. This is uh, a, a very seldom thought imagery of our Savior. We always see Jesus praying. We always see Jesus performing miracles. We always see Him teaching. But have you ever imagined in your head Jesus Christ singing? Ang Panginoon ay umawit. At hindi lamang siya umawit, kasama niyang umawit ang mga banal, ang kanyang mga apostol. That shows that music is important to God. That music plays a very prominent role in His confession and His expression of faith. Hindi lamang ang Panginoong Jesus at ang mga disipulo ang uh, umawit, kundi maging ang mga apostol na tinawag din ng ating Panginoon. Halimbawa, si Apostol Pablo at si Silas, nung sila ay dinakip at sila ay ikinulong at sila ay inilagay sa isang madilim na Bartolina, ang ginawa, mga kapatid, ng Apostol Pablo at ni Silas, nung ito'y nasa kulungan sila, sa hating gabi sila'y nagsiawit. When Paul and Silas were put in, in, in that uh, maximum security stockade, instead of sulking in a corner, instead of fearing for their lives and, and being bitter and being hopeless and despairing, you know what they did? They sang, they sang hymns unto the Lord. In the book of Acts chapter 16, verse 25, about midnight, Paul and Silas were praying and singing hymns. They were praying and singing hymns. That's how they confronted the terror that was upon them, the threat that was being hurled against them. You know, instead of wringing their, their hands and instead of fearing for their lives, they counterattack the darkness of their day with prayer and singing hymns. At ito ang ating pwedeng gawin, na pwede tayong umawit at tayo ay manalangin. Sa katunayan, merong isang kilalang uh, tao sa kasaysayan, ang tawag sa kanya ay si St. Augustine, ang sabi niya, na you can sing or to sing is to actually pray twice. To sing is to actually pray twice. And so going back to the uh, account of Paul and Silas being uh, incarcerated, they address their uh, imprisonment in a positive way. They sang hymns and they also prayed. Kaya makikita natin na sa kasaysayan, hindi lamang ang Diyos sa langit ay umaawit, ang mga banal ay umaawit. Nakita natin ang Panginoong Yesus ay umawit. 
ang mga apostol umawit. Si Apostol Pablo ay umawit. At maging sa ating panahon ngayon, ang ating mahal na apostol, ang mabuting puno ng sangbahayan ay napakahilig at lais, nais niya laging umawit. Our apostle, the good man of the house, loves to sing. We could almost say that he is one singing apostle because he always punctuates his exhortation with music. And believe it or not, I for one, I love to sing. And I love also listening to good music. And I would like to give to you two important reasons about the effect and the benefit of music to us in times of suffering. First, music shields our hearts and minds from anxiety and distress. You see, in troubled times, it is not only our physical bodies that must have protection and that must be uh, shielded from, the, uh, from harm and trouble, even our minds. It has been said that many people today are not only getting sick with the coronavirus, but they're also getting sick in their minds and in their hearts because they say that once coronavirus attacks you, it will also make you really be distressed in your head. Imagine getting those uh, fever that would not go away for days. Talagang ito ang nakakatakot na nababasa natin patungkol doon sa mga nagkakasakit ng coronavirus na tumataas ang kanilang lagnat. At kapag ka tumaas ang kanilang lagnat, naaapektuhan sa matinding paraan ang pag-iisip, ang damdamin ng mga tao. And so, in these uh, times of uh, pandemic, it is uh, very natural for people to feel so anxious and distressed and distraught. And probably, you are one of those people who are somehow a little bit worried and a little bit anxious and perplexed as to what's happening with your employment, what's happening with your finances and, and health and so on and so forth. And you are probably being a burdened by our worries. But the scriptures is telling us that we must never allow this kind of troubles to steal our melody. Keep singing unto the Lord. Keep singing the praises unto the Lord. One of the most beautiful verses in the book of Psalm is written in Psalm 32 verse 7. It says, you are a hiding place for me. You preserve me from trouble. You surround me with songs of deliverance. I like that. With songs of deliverance. And isn't it, this is uh, one of the songs that we sing in our worship, in our devotional. You are my hiding place. You always fill my heart with songs of deliverance. Whenever I am afraid, I will trust in you. So, you can sing that particular uh, verse and you can sing a song while you are also praying. Just like what this uh, uh, person said, St. Augustine, that to sing is actually to pray Twice. I, I, I see that in the life of our apostle. I see that in the life of the leaders of the church. That when they pray, they punctuate their prayers with songs. We do that as well in a corporate uh, you know, uh, level. Na tayo ay umaawit at tayo rin ay nanalalangin. And this is what God does. That when you find your shelter in his presence when you bring yourself under the shelter of the most high he will not only embrace you with his presence but he will embrace you 
with his songs of deliverance. So, go ahead. In these times that coronavirus is trying to dampen our spirits, go ahead. Sing your songs unto the Lord. Not only in the shower, but even in your living rooms. Just as you are doing your chores, sing. I, for one, I love singing. And we need to sing. Never mind what the neighbors will say. Huwag yung intindihin yung uh, sasabihin ng inyong kapitbahay. At kahit ang mga aso ay kumahol na kasama ninyo, okay lang. Ang mahalaga, tayo ay umaawit ng mga awit ng pagliligtas ng ating Panginoon. You see, troubles have a way of stealing our melody, stealing our songs. I remember when Jonah disobeyed the Lord and he found himself inside the belly of a big fish. Somehow, his words were filled with, with words of hopelessness. And then, he was able to rebound. He was able to... Uh, Recommit himself unto the Lord. And this is what he promised the Lord. In the book of Jonah, in chapter 2, in verse 9, according to Jonah, I'm going to pay my vows unto you, and then I'm going to once again sing my praises unto you. So Jonah offered to once again sing the songs of praises. Is darkness trying to steal your melody or probably this uh, coronavirus has already stolen your song of praise? Hindi ka na halos makaawit, hindi ka na halos makapagbigay ng himig sa Panginoon. Well, why don't you counterattack darkness and begin singing songs of praise, belt out a song of praise. And if you have been given with the gift of music, by all means... Play your musical instrument with all your bests and, and sing a song of praise and songs of deliverance unto the Lord and begin seeing yourself becoming stronger and becoming you know, better and feeling uh, better about uh, the situation around you and also those around you. So that's what, that is what uh, songs do when we are in times of trouble. The second uh, benefit, the last but not least, is music reminds us of God's promises and truths. Music reminds us of God's promises and truths. Ito ang kagandahan ng Christian music. Ito'y nagtataglay ng mga awit at hindi lang ng awit, kundi ito'y nagtataglay ng mga katotohanan. And this is one of the marks of a great Christian song. When it is theologically sound, when it is scripturally rich, this is why hymns are great. Now, I am not saying that there are uh, praise, that the praise and worship songs of today do not, uh, you know, pop a punch when it comes to theology. I believe that in both hymns and praise and worship songs, all of them have great uh, theology and great scriptural teaching. But what I would like to point out is this, that during times of crisis, we are not only to be edified from the pulpit, we are to also be edified as songs in the church are played. In the book of Exodus, chapter 15, verse 21, uh, it says there, And Miriam sang to them, Sing to the Lord, for he has triumphed gloriously. The horse and his rider he has thrown into the sea. Mapapansin ninyo na sa awit ni Miriam ay kanyang inulit, kanyang sinalaysay ang ginawa ng Diyos laban sa mga Egypt. At ito ang maganda sa awit, isinasalaysay nito ang gawa ng Diyos sa kasaysayan at sa ating buhay. And this is why songs actually resonate in our hearts. This is 
why almost every one of us has a favorite praise and worship song. We have our own favorite hymns because those songs pretty much capture where we are, how we feel, and how we see things. And, and great songs are great theology teachers. And that's why we need to sing songs. Because when times are troubled, parang dumidilim na rin ang ating mga paningin. Parang nawawala na sa atin ang mga pangako ng Diyos. Subalit, muli nating buhayin ang ating pananampalataya. Muli nating palakasin ang ating pananampalataya. At yan ay magagawa natin sa pamamagitan ng pag-awit. Sa pag-awit na paaalalahanan tayo ng mga pangako ng Panginoon at ang kanyang ginagawa sa ating buhay at sa kanyang gagawin pa. Tayo po ay manalangin. Ama naming Diyos, nagpapasalamat kami sapagat Ikaw ang pinagmumulan ng aming himig. Ikaw ang pinagmumulan ng aming mga awit. Sa panahon na ito, na para bagang ang mga problema, ang mga kasiphayuan, ang kadiliman ay parang nais, tangayin, nakawin ang aming awit. Hindi namin ito ipapahintulo. We will not allow the troubles of our times to steal our melody and to keep and prevent ourselves from singing. We will sing. Just as your son Jesus sang, we will also sing. Just as the apostles sang, we will also sing. Just as your first church sang during the times of persecution, we will continue to sing. You are our song. Our prayers are our song. We ask you now, Father God, to continue to surround us with songs of deliverance. Surround our frontliners with your songs of deliverance. Surround them with your presence and with your power. I'm praying, O oh Lord, that none of them will have accidental infection from this uh, coronavirus. Even though a number of them are working with less protective uh, equipment, Father God, shield them and just cover them with your power. We're praying as well for our brethren who are struggling financially. Ang mga kapatid namin na nawala ng trabaho at ngayon ay nasa kagipitan, alalahanin mo sila, dakilang Diyos. Pakanin mo ang iyong bayan. Tustusan mo ang aming mga pangangailangan. I pray that you will continue to sustain us as we go through this season of scarcity. May we enjoy, O Lord, your divine providence and your abundance. We are also praying for the heads of states, for the presidents of the nations of the world. We're praying, O Lord, that you will guide these servants of yours. Mga lingkod mo sila, mga sugo mo rin sila. At sila iyong binigyan ng kapangyarihan upang pangunahan ang mga bansa na makatakas at malampasan at mapagtagumpayan ang coronavirus na ito. I pray, Lord, that you will give these leaders unity and cohesion and solidarity. Do not let them engage any further in partisan politics, but let them, Lord, set these things aside and let them really serve the populace and serve the people we're praying lord that you will also bring about revival in our times bring lord this generation to their knees and let them once again cry out to you let this generation O oh lord repent from their sins to turn away from their wickedness and once again see you as their only Lord and Savior. Father God, I pray that you will use your true church in these times to carry the gospel of your Son, Jesus. Enable us, Lord, to do more 
online crusade. And even those who have accepted your son Jesus during the uh, home free crusade will be once again moved to, to recommit themselves and to really serve you after this social distancing. I pray that you will preserve our witness, Lord, in these times of trouble. I am praying, O Lord, for those who are undergoing uh, treatment uh, so that they can be healed from COVID-19. In the mighty name of Jesus, sa makapangyarihang pangalan ni Jesus, ay aking sinasaway ang karamdaman na ngayon ay nasa sa kanila. Alisin mo ang virus na ito sa katawan ng mga tao at kanilang makita ang iyong kapangyarihan. Kanilang ibigay ang kalwalhatian sa iyo na siyang tagapagpagaling ng mga karamdaman. O dakilan Diyos, tulungan mo na ang mga panahon na ito ay magdala sa bawat isa sa muling uh, pagtatalaga ng kanilang buhay para sa iyo. We are praying, O Lord, for your church that we will keep ourselves uh, in that manner of, of active service unto you, that you will keep us, O Lord, in the Spirit, protect us, even our leaders, headed by your apostle, the good man of the house. Father God, embrace him with your healing, sustaining power, even the rest of the bishops and the presbyters and the pastors, all the way to every rank and file members of your church. Help us to enjoy your protection during this COVID-19 troubled times. Ito po ang aming maingat na pananalangin at pagkakatiwala sa matamis sa pangalan ni Jesus. Amen. Pagpalain tayo ng ating Panginoon. Glory to God. Hallelujah. Purihin ka, Panginoon. Papuri sa iyo, Ama naming Diyos, na makapangyarihan sa lahat na may lalang ng langit at lupa. Kami po'y lumalapit sa iyo. Tanda na kung wala ang iyong tulong at habag, ay wala po kaming magagawa. Kami ay nagpapasalamat sapagkat sagana ang iyong mga salita na dala ng iyong mga sinugo na sa amin ay palagi ang nagbibigay ng pag-asa at nagpapatibay ng aming pananampalataya. Salamat rin at mayroong pananalangin kung saan kami ay malayang makakalapit at makakadulog sa iyong luklukan ng iyong biyaya. Sa mga pagkakataong ito ay patuloy mo lang na kami ay paging dapatin ang bawat isa sa amin. Linisin mo ang aming mga puso at pag-iisip. At ipagpatawad mo ang aming mga pagkakasala Nang sa gayon magkaroon kami ng katiyakan Na ang aming pananalangin ay yung diringgin Sa mga pagkakataong ito Alam namin at nalalaman mo ang bawat nangyayari sa sanlibutan ito Ang sakit na COVID-19 na nagdadala ng takot at pangamba sa bawat tao Alam namin, O Diyos na nasa likod ng mga pagsubok ay mayroong dakilang plano ka sa bawat isa sa nagsisilapit at sumasampalataya sa iyo. Kaya amin po ngayong pinagkakaisa ang ipanalangin sa iyo ang bawat mga bansa na apektado ng pandemic na ito. Ang bansang Amerika, ang European countries gaya ng Italy at Spain at maging ang iba't ibang bansa sa buong mundo na pinahihirapan ng karamdamang ito, tulungan mo ang bawat isa sa amin. Dahil alam namin na tanging ikaw lamang ang makapagbibigay ng kagalingan sa sanlibutan mula sa sakit na ito. Maging daan ito upang kami ay patuloy na lumapit at magtiwala sa iyo. Alam namin na kung paanong ikaw ang nagpakita sa mga bulag, nagpalakad sa mga pilay, at bumuhay ng patay ay kayang-kaya mong iwaksi ang karamdamang ito. Tulungan mo ngayon, Panginoon, 
ang mga frontliners na patuloy na gumagawa ng paraan upang sugpuin ang karamdamang ito ay bigyan mo sila ng palagi ang karunungan kung paano nila gagawin ang kanilang mga trabaho. Lagi mo silang ingatan, lagi mo silang palakasin. Tulungan mo lamang na kami palaging sumampalataya sa iyong magagawa. Ang aming tanging pag-asa ay ikaw lamang. Ang iyong pangako sa amin ay aming pinangahawakan na kung kami ay lalapit at tatawag sa iyo, ay magpapakita ka ng mga bagay na hindi pa namin nakikita dahil walang imposible sa iyo. Alam naming inihahanda mo na ang bawat katugunan sa aming mga panalangin. Maraming salamat po, Panginoon, sa pangalan ng aming Panginoong Hesus na Haring Darating. Amen. We give all the glory.